We have a controversial new PSVR 2 community to talk about. It's a gaming community made to help you feel better about your entertainment, even if you're not yet a gamer. This community is controversial, as you can see from the thumbnail. It's an America first gaming community. Also for people who want to learn to love themselves and the country who maybe don't have America first politics. I know that we've all had to do things or learn things to make our lives better and make our future better. Let me know in the comments what you've had to do that's been difficult. I'd really love to know. I'm here to get honest with you and America. I feel there's a huge propaganda market in the country and American entertainment, including gaming. I also feel there's a propaganda market on the PSVR 2 specifically. I'm throwing up a quick short so you get the understanding of what I'm talking about. Best America First VR news of the day is that if you like what you see, you have a brand new channel to take you into the future of fun. And I already have the perfect videos to link you to at the end. They never gave you the truth about virtual reality. If you want to feel better about your entertainment, see some crazy virtual reality content, stay tuned. Leave a like if you own a PSVR 2 and you know it's the best piece of gaming technology and there's a propaganda market on the PSVR 2. Sony doesn't want gamers knowing how immersive and how alpha the PSVR 2 is. They don't want you going virtual inside the headset, inside the action, support your values. They want to control content and the developers on flat screen. Guys, virtual reality is the future of fun, especially the Pavlov tactical military shooters. Stuff's underutilized, guys, check it out. Don't worry, debunking the pricing myth on PSVR 2 video coming out soon. It's already made. It's not expensive. Spoiler alert, it's $50 to walk down the street in Joe Biden reality. This technology is cheap. First, the long-term plans of the community so you know where it's going, and also an explanation of why this stuff is for everybody, people that don't realize it's for them, people that just feel a little trapped in new entertainment or just to save money, all ability types, all age types, virtual reality is the future of fun, it's not taboo. I want to do an America first gaming community for gamers, established gamers with some of the online games. These things are going to be good for 10 years, the Gran Turismo driving the Pavlov tactical military stuff. I want to do an online community for those games that are awesome, that can help strengthen us that are really healthy ways to game. We're saving American values inside virtual reality, giving parents and families the power back to control content inside the headset. Also, for new gamers, my content is cinematic for non-gamers, even people that are just like overweight, have a disability, uh, regular people, even if you just have an emotional limitation, you're low mood like me, you want the smack of home entertainment, but you don't want to leave the apartment or the house all the time in 2024, it's probably a house, Joe Biden reality is crazy, nobody can buy a home, I got a video on it, if you want to check it out, can a virtual reality gamer break? propaganda and break the propaganda market in America. It's got a, did I boot my pants, Joe Biden uh, thumbnail. But yeah, it's just, we're here to give healthy, new fun, control content. Uh, and I also want to talk about virtual reality activism. The virtual reality games have applications beyond just gaming that makes them for non-gamers as well. It is the advancement in technology. It absolutely is the better way to game. I have videos on that. But this is this is about role playing and therapy and family bonding, and that's what this section's about. I think this stuff is it should be in high schools. I think this stuff is therapeutic, couples therapy, marriage therapy, sibling therapy, even if you're older. So I'm going to be going back and talking about some of the games splicing some of the games into my news and opinion stuff just to cover the old games like you know i'm gonna go do the horizon game making the horizon game cool in 2024 it's actually a really good game especially for new gamers i understand why the hardcore gamers dismissed it but you can get it with the psvr too it's an awesome game i haven't played the whole thing but i'm gonna finish it soon and uh yeah stuff like that and just game and opinion stuff hype PSVR 2 content, Joe Rogan, Alpha Gamer Brain coming out, reacting to him and his guests talking about virtual reality, Joe Rogan's old story about fear of getting addicted to, to video games and how he games healthy now, going outside to the virtual reality stuff to play with his family once in a while, I get the headset I play at home, you can too, uh, from the safety and comfort of your own home in 2024, people, come on. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. And then uh, other, I got Tom McDonald, Resident Evil 4, God Mode, Culture Figures. I'm going to be doing a Matt Walsh gaming and dating. I got videos, Resident Evil 8, an awesome werewolf scene coming out. I got the Resident Evil 4 cabin scene, the best fight scene in virtual reality and video games coming out. The cultural figures in virtual reality or over virtual reality gameplay and my opinion, like Matt Walsh, Tom McDonald, Joe Rogan, it's to get virtual reality information to more people and get them thinking about it. But it's also secondary to, well, primary to save America and save the gamer brains give citizens that are on the fence permission to listen to hardcore Americans to help get the opinion and the that matters to the brain save America get people voting for Donald Trump despite the propaganda market against him I love Trump but I know a lot of people don't but I still think it's really important that they vote for Donald Trump Joe Biden selling us out <laughs> Uh, 
I'm not canceling my PSN account because I need it to play the Pavlov tactical mil under demon slang hell sweeper fire and military crossfire action guys society in America is falling because of this quote uh, check out my President Evil Resident Evil 4 content I got an announcement video up it's got this thumbnail but I'm gonna be doing news and opinion over Resident Evil President Evil 4 if you want to see that you think it's a good idea like comment subscribe if you need new entertainment like comment subscribe if you own the PSVR 2 headset you want to see it have a bright future even if you don't agree with me well if, if you're gonna watch my content and even if you don't agree with me we need to get this headset to more people and being having an opinion like mine and having my flair I think will bring the headset to new people so this is just my gaming community I watch all the people that don't agree with me I appreciate everybody who supports the PSVR 2 by the way it's the crack of gaming technology I have content made the Netflix uh, VR X uh, X takeout video you know what I mean not sure if you caught that let me correct myself I said my gaming community I meant our gaming community if we are able to build it there are so many games on this thing and a lot of the quality games have multiplayer the the mini golf the car racing the Pavlov tactical military stuff this thing these things are not all consuming virtual reality is pop in and pop out that's why I talk about it being therapy for greater America it's not just for hardcore gamers it's really accessible it's quick it's it's in and out it's it's awesome fun at home more to come in videos that I'm that I'm putting out here's the thumbnail to my killing woke virtual reality execution at Kotaku that I'm gonna show you more of and then also here's my thumbnail for my uh, Assassin's Bleed virtual reality fun uh, Assassin's Creed is killing flat screen gaming thumbnail promoting virtual reality to people at flat screen giving them my story that it's changed my life it's a better way to game this technology really has changed my life videos to come so stuff is coming and uh, yeah Gonna be doing the new games when they come out to a really good video of mine. If you like horror, is my first impressions of Madison VR. If you want to spend time with me, get intimate with the white gamer. I also do a 45 minute walkthrough of Madison horror uh, real time. I have saving American values and virtual reality. I got a cool little uh, Alpha Gamer Rage Legendary Tales video out there. I got stuff, guys. And just cause my name's the white gamer, everybody's welcome here. Blacks for Trump, LGBTQs for Trump, real Americans, based Americans on the fence, upset at Joe Biden. You guys are welcome here. I got it. Two minute hell sweeper video if you go back in time i got a 20 minute hell sweeper video demon slang therapy just talking about ending wokeness and why i think virtual reality is the better way to game stay tuned stay out of joe biden reality it's way too overpriced way too unclean way too unsafe save your brain save your wallet save your mind save your pocket everything check into virtual reality like comment subscribe if you want the news and opinion that matters it's going to save america and american entertainment help people game better stay polished i got the psvr2 unboxing video with donald trump for you to check out it's awesome this is an adult gaming channel if you're younger make sure your parents are okay with you being on the channel uh it, some of my crazier stuff when I was newer, propaganda breaker, my propaganda under military crossfire action. It says the white gamer. It's got an American flag on it. It's an awesome game crossfire. I'm going to be talking about that game. I do like a, a thing with the squad. I had the thumbnail up in the beginning. That's throughout my videos. I think that's in my uh, oh, gamer versus terrorist video, which is kind of cool, especially towards the end. And then another fun video of mine I'm going to show you is... Uh, would Eve date you from Stellar Blade? It's the thumbnails a little cringe. I'm aware uh, Stellar Blade thumbnails did good the video contents really good I kind of go on and on in the beginning about how I think more parents need to get virtual reality headsets But if you skip to like the second half of the video I talk a lot about why I like virtual reality why I think it's a better way to game It's a really cool part of the video it's still fun in the beginning to in, in the beginning as well Leave me a comment. Let me know if you own the PSVR 2 headset You also think it's the best piece of game in tech on the market It's not getting a fair shake as far as like how many good games there are out and how many games are coming in 2024. In my Resident Evil news video from a couple days ago, I talk about some of the games I'm really looking forward to and that they're supporting the PSVR 2, and I have videos about it in the past. Most importantly, I'm going to take time to do good thumbnails and better titles for the videos that I already have made, and I'm going to take time to do less videos that are more quality so you made it to the end of the video i really appreciate you hearing me in a couple days with one of the videos i have made so like comment subscribe to make sure i can reach you help us take psvr2 into the future help us save america leave me a comment if you have any questions about virtual reality uh, i'm only doing so many games but this stuff is for more people there's a huge propaganda market on it even if you're traditional minded or you're just more conservative even if you're not uh, traditional minor conservative donald trump's going to save america you don't have to be uh you don't have to be like an old school hardcore uh, patriotic American to benefit from Trump. Biden selling us out. Vote Trump, guys. Click right here to, no, click right here to save Donald Trump in virtual reality. Get the smack of home entertainment.